I just got to this uh, old house here. Guess they got a no heat. We're gonna see what's going on with the furnace. All right, we got another service call. Um, pretty old house here. Uh, let's see what's going on. Said the furnace is in the attic, so maybe it's been replaced already. But uh, let's see what's going on with this one. All right, just got up to the attic. It is a train. Uh, train XV80. So let's uh, see what's going on with this thing. Let's open this thing up. The igniter's coming on, but flames aren't, so we either have a bad gas valve or a bad board. Uh, let's check it out. Open it up. All right. So we're going to take a look at this. So I'm going to test the gas valve first. Uh, that'll let us know if it's the uh, control board down there or the valve. You see the igniter's coming on. Got my leads on low stage. Let's see if we're getting power. If we're getting power, it's a bad valve. If we're not getting power, oh, bad valve. So we are getting power. Gas is on. So yeah, it's gotta be the gas valve. Let's check it one more time. Let's make sure we're getting voltage again. And we are. Nothing happening. All right, well, we gotta change that valve out. All right, got the valve. Let's put that sucker on. gas off Just flex line off Probably just keep all this together and just try to spin it off here. We should be able to clear this. Get you over here so you guys can see a little bit better. We should be able to clear this. I'm gonna try to keep this all together and just spin this off. gonna clear yes we are nice show you what I'm doing down here we did disconnect it from the valve I had my other wrench right here on the gas valve itself man stuff's just getting too easy all right let's uh get the manifold off Clip these zip ties and swap this guy out. Take out these uh, four 5 16 screws that are holding the manifold to the uh, burner assembly. Out. 
There we go. Let's take it off. to do this with a crescent and just choke up on here. Let the pipe match. Direct match, as you can see. The old one over there. Gas flow that way, so we'll start with this end. Get some thread seal up here. I always clean the uh, gunk out of these threads here. We'll clean that off a little bit. Finger in there, make sure nothing fell. tight and then we'll wrench it down as much as we can do with our hand. Probably get another churn. Oh yeah. Alright. I'll do one more turn with the wrench. Get it upright. Stands upright just like that. Nice and tight. All right, there we go. Let's put it on. All right, we got the new valve in. Put the, all the four screws. Important thing is to make sure all the orifices are inside each burner. Um, you know, believe it or not, I found some furnaces where you know another repair company was out there, you know, doing something, and you know didn't uh, line these burners up. Let me get that gunk out of there. We'll clean that out. All right, let's get this piping back in. Try to see both sides. You can see the inlet down here. Pull out the cap. Clean our end of the pipe. Put some little thread sealer on there. There it goes. 
is threading in just fine. Get it hand tight as much as we can. Get my wrench. We'll choke up on this valve here so we don't move the valve. Oh, I can't breathe with this mask on. This hand tight. There's enough leverage on this pipe. We don't need to use our wrench. Get it straight. There we go. All right. You know, one more spin around. I'll probably get some crap for not using a wrench, but look at that. That's probably like 10 inches of leverage there. So why undo all this when, you know, it's fine. Um, you know, no, no need for a little too much on there. No need for a, a wrench. And that thing was tight as can be after that last push. So, uh, you know, we'll definitely test for leaks, but that thing's threaded in just like the old one at the other side there. So, uh, let's connect this flex line. We'll wrench down on that. Make a mess. Go. There you go. Nice and tight. Let's turn this gas back on. Gloves off, gloves are dirty. All right, let's see what happens. All right, just got the new valve on. Let's uh, see if this works. Should ignite now. Come on, baby, ignite. gaff valve replaced uh, that's it for this one i'm gonna vacuum up this cabinet a little bit clean it and uh check the filter test it temporize carbon monoxide and we should be good all right thanks for watching